Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. This is something that's been requested from you for a lot, uh, for a while now and that is how to set up the ads holding container. So in all of our client accounts across Facebook specifically, we have this little holding container that we leave off. It's just a campaign that we leave off and we store all of our ads inside it to better organize things for um, just in general of organizing things and also keeping social proof. So with that being said, let's get started. Um, or let's, before we get started, make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that being said, let's get started. So diving into an ad account. So I got an ad account right here, just gonna show you guys. And I have two campaigns set up, I like our main kind of like scaling campaign, pushing stuff into, um, and then we have our ads holding container. So um, I run purchase conversions for all my accounts, specifically for e-com. So that means I'm optimizing for conversions or like I'm choosing conversions for the campaign and then I'm optimizing for purchases at the um, ad set, stuff like that level. So with that being said, let's go further. I'm just gonna dive in and show you this, what this ads holding container looks like. So if we go further into it, you can see right here, I have pretty much every month we create a new ad set. And again, we're leaving the ad set off. Um, you can set up as an ABO. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if it's ABO or CBO. Due to it never run. It's never ever gonna run, okay? Just wanna make sure you're clarified on that. So we have a variety of these different set up. Obviously, as each month goes on, we'll go ahead and create a new one. So let's actually create a new ad set because it's January and I don't have a January one set up yet for this client. So go ahead and go inside of here and I'm gonna type in Jan, I'm gonna probably misspell that, 2022 ads. And then, um, doesn't really matter if you create an ad or not. Let me go ahead and create that. So yeah, so once I get inside of here, again, just make sure per conversion events purchase. None of this matters because again, we're not running this campaign. Um, so we go inside of here. Now let's actually create our ad. So let me go click edit. And then obviously make sure you select your Instagram and Facebook. I'm gonna have this blurred out just due to privacy issues with this client. I'll make sure it's not shown up. And we're just gonna call this test ad number one. Um, I highly recommend you put some level of naming convention still set up and turn this off. Do a single image. And I don't know why, I really hate that. It's kind of shooting straight to like things like this. Select your website events. Um, get Hubert, watch that out. Um, cool, and then add your image, you know, create your, create your ad basically. Hey, this is a cool ad. Buy now, please. Um, yeah, cool. And then obviously put your website URL in. Cool. Um, and then publish. Again, you would watch all that, please. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> so now that you actually created your ad inside of your ads holding container, what you can do now is um, go back to, let me go back to campaign level, back to ads holding container. Um, I want to make sure that ad set we just created is off because again, I never want this to run. Um, but I can leave the ad on because the ad will never run because that ad set is off. And then what I have right here is basically this ad we just created. You'll see it's still a review. What I want to do is literally just go hit and refresh the whole entire page. And the reason why I like to do that um, is just to make sure everything kind of clears. And then what I'm going to do next is click on it right here. I'm going to do preview. And I'm going right here to see Facebook posts with comments. Oh, you're gonna hate me for this. For, you're gonna hate me for this, <laughs> Hubert. Um, again, Praniva, Praniva. <laughs> um, so now that that is previewed, what's gonna happen basically is now is we can get what's called a post ID, which is right here. It's a second string of numbers. So I'm just gonna kind of have that highlighted um, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So I'm actually gonna copy this ad by hitting Command C, um, whatever you, uh, for a Mac, whatever you use for copy and paste for, um, you know what you call it, uh, Windows, you just use that. Then we we'll go back to campaign level and let's say we wanna bring this into a testing campaign or we wanna bring this into a scaling campaign. What I'm gonna do is go to my scaling campaign 
And then I'm gonna click on the ad set. We wanna paste that ad in. Now I'm just gonna hit control V to paste it in because we already copied it. Now what's gonna happen is you'll see it's all like back to where it usually, like it's kind of back to this like create an ad type thing right here. You, you can edit everything and stuff like that. I don't want that. I do not want that at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add setup. I'm gonna click use existing post. Now I'm gonna go back to our post. I'm gonna copy that second string of numbers and then I'm gonna go to enter post ID and paste that in. And what's gonna essentially happen here is now we are, we're like, instead of running, um, when we created the first ad, it creates a post in the Facebook page. And instead of creating a whole new ad and we copy and paste it, we're just using that existing post. And what's gonna happen is, is this gonna retain social proof. And when you retain social proof, um, and again, you can publish that, uh, but when you retain that social proof, it allows us to build up a lot of likes, comments, shares on an ad. And when we duplicate it, we don't have to worry about something happening where we lose that social proof. So this is a way we do it for all of our accounts. And we notice actually an improvement, anywhere from 10 to 20% improvement return on ad spend from this. Because now, like if we take an ad and copy and paste it across a few campaigns, utilizing the other way, it doesn't always carry social proof over. Facebook claims it does, but it does, it realistically does not. Like we notice it all the time breaking. This way, it does not break. And this is really powerful. We've been doing this for about a year and a half now, and we absolutely love it. So really hope this kind of describes how to run the ads holding container. It's very easy, um, very simple setup, and hopefully this helps you. So again, if you're an e-com business doing at least $50,000 per month in revenue, we'd love to hop on a call with me and my team. We generate over $8 million in revenue for online businesses, specifically around the e-com space. Um, love to hop on a call with you talk about how we can scale your business to a million dollars a month um, and jump on a strategy session essentially. Uh, click link below, book call with me. You have the option to take the strategy session, run with it, or you have the option to work with us if you choose. So um, hope that helps you out. And uh, yeah, and if you're also making less than 50K a month, want to work with us, keep following the channel because I'm providing a lot of amazing content and value for you guys. So again, my name is Nick Terrio. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.